So you finally did it. You pulled the trigger on our great big box of Army Painter Speed Paints. You made a great choice, but here's an upgrade I'm going to recommend you do right away. I love the colors and coverage of Speed Paints, but I've always found it hard to judge how they will actually look on a model. Look at these two yellow variants. One is darker than the other, but by how much? And these two grays? I suppose one has a little blue in it, but it's really hard to tell. The good news is there is a solution. These are caps for your Speed Paint bottles. They are tiny little models that you'll prime, glue onto your speed paint caps, and paint to give you a real world look at each color. You can find them in a number of different variations from skulls to treasure chests, but the empire loving Gen X geek and me had to have the Stormtrooper caps. These also have some nice details perfect for speed paints. Now if you spent way too much money on a 3D printing setup like yours truly, you can print them out yourself. I always wear gloves and a respirator when working with resin printing. If you don't have the setup or desire, you can just order them on Etsy and let someone else handle the heavy lifting. So let's get these helmets painted. I first prime them all in white while humming the Empire seam, of course. I like to work on them in batches, so I'll bust out the super glue and get each helmet in place. I highly recommend gloves again for this part. Trust me, you don't want to spend the time it takes to get super glue off your skin. I hold each one in place for about 10 seconds or so. Once the caps are in place, I paint, paint, and paint some more. You can be fast with this. It is speed paint after all, and you're also not trying to win any contests. Just get it on there and let it do what speed paint does. Run into the cracks and crevices and cover areas quickly. You can see already how nice these bottles look with their freshly painted caps. They really make it so much easier to find just the right hue for the model at hand. You just have to glance over at your paint rack and pick the perfect color. Here's the lineup I painted today. Some pinks, purples, blues, and teals. Let's look at a few comparisons. Hive Dweller Purple is so much darker than Purple Swarm. While Royal Robes is only slightly darker than Tidal Wave. That would be hard to tell from the label. This next set has one of my favorite colors, Plasmatic Bolts. I love that teal. And who knew Gunner Camel and Burt Moss would look that different? Now get you some caps and make your speed paint life so much easier. Thanks for watching.